the bitch was fighting demons. But now, me and my demons, we starting to get a little cool. And I'm back to take my spot on the throne, bitch. Hey, it's Brie, and I'm here with the tea for you. I'm ready to let you bitches in my world, in my business. Okay, so I got my iced coffee. I highly recommend that you guys download the McDonald's app and get your 99 cent any sized coffee. Every day, I'm in line getting 99 cent iced coffee, bitch. It's my new addiction. I would love to project that onto you, okay? Make sure you guys take advantage because it's a bomb ass deal. Um, child. Anyway, so, you know, lately I've been feeling like Stella got her groove back. And I'm not being dramatic. Like, I literally feel that way. I am the happiest that I have ever been in my fucking life. The last time that I was consistent on my channel, I uploaded a video where I told you guys that I finally found happiness or whatever. And I can honestly say, as I sit here and film this video, I'm in an even better place than I was when I uploaded that video. Like, a bitch is even happier. It just keeps getting better. So I wanted to tap in with you guys and tell you guys why I disappeared because something that I always wanted when I was younger, I wanted to know the ins and out of people's like journey to success if that makes sense like everybody that i used to look up to when i was growing up i always wanted to know like their trials and their tribulations before they became you know like beyonce or kim kardashian like i always wanted to know the journey to being the person that we see today so that's kind of why i'm coming on here and giving you guys a low-key life update because i feel like my reason behind taking a break from my channel is actually very normal and i feel that way because because I'm actually learning how to be softer, kinder, and more thoughtful towards myself. I just absolutely love my life. I love where I am. And I want to give you guys all the tea. So let's get into it. So I just took like a month long hiatus from my channel for literally no reason. I mean, if we have to be like technical and logical here, I do work. I have a job. So I kind of put my channel on the back burner to like get to the bag sometimes i do feel like i have to work to kind of prove to my mom and to my family that i'm responsible because i'm not really in a place where the youtube check is like consistent obviously because i'm constantly taking hiatus right so i got a real job and it started off like i was only working two days or three days and then it became more of like a full time like i was constantly there and now i'm kind of starting to get over my job to be honest like i kind of cosplayed as a regular person long enough and i'm ready to get back into my influencer bag i feel like it was good for me to take a break from my channel to kind of get like the passion back and the spark back because what i love about being a youtuber and what i love about myself this shit is really my destiny dude like i cannot run away from this shit every time i go and try to pursue another avenue or another career path i always end up coming back to my starting point which is youtube i, I fucking love it here so um let me take a sip in addition to working i've been hanging out with friends i've been making new friends i've been creating and establishing new connections with people that actually fuck with me i have been like meeting people and there has just been this instant connection this instant spark i feel seen i don't feel bad anymore like i don't get those thoughts in my head like oh my god i just met this person and they see me what about all those other people like girl i don't have those stupid ass thoughts anymore where i'm just like stuck in the past or where i feel like oh my god when is this person gonna stab me in the back the people that god has been bringing into my life are people that see me accept me and want to see me do better bitch and i love that for me i took a break from my channel to be present because i felt like it was important for me to be present in the moment for the first time in my life I feel content. I feel like I don't need to push myself. I don't need to have sleepless nights. I don't need to be in grind mode. I've already built a solid foundation. Like I don't need to be exhausting myself, stressing myself out, overworking myself. I already did the work literally five years ago, four years ago. It's smooth sailing, bitch. I can honestly say taking my break from my channel has made me more present and I don't think I've ever been present in my life. Like my whole life 
I've always been worried about the future or thinking about the past. I'm not trying to drag myself. I'm not trying to like overshare or anything like that. But YouTube is mad therapeutic for me. And I'm sitting here and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, bitch, your whole life, you have either been thinking about something fucked up that somebody did to you in the past, or you've been thinking about how you need to get rich and successful in the future so you can flex on those people that hurt you in the past. I don't feel like that anymore. My friends that I hang out with make me feel so comfortable with where I am. They affirm to me that it's okay to take breaks. They motivate me. I actually have people in my life that give me pats on the back. If I upload a video and that video was good, they will tell me, hey, you did a good job with that video. I am no longer surrounded by people that see me working my ass off and they don't give me my flowers. And I thank God for that because that's what I need. I want to talk to you guys about this book that I've been reading. I actually keep it in the car with me because I like to read it at work when like things get slow. I really feel like I need to bring this book up and I will make so much more sense. It's called The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. As you can see, I have really been reading this book. Like, bitch, I have been in this like all in it this book has been so transformative for me already even though i haven't finished the book it has really taught me in a practical way how to control my thoughts and how to be more aware of what i'm thinking one thing that this book has really really taught me so far is that everything that i have experienced in life up until this point is a result of the thoughts that i have been putting out into the universe so like if i have been putting out into the world through through my thoughts that like oh I misunderstood nobody loves me nobody supports me if that is like a constant thought pattern in my mind I mean what did I expect not even trying to be like mean to myself but literally what did I expect that's what the fuck I was putting out into the world I was putting out into the world that I'm unloved that I'm not supported and I was getting that back seriously I really want to thank God that I took this break from my channel. Honestly, I have been telling everybody around me that I need to rebrand. And I'm so happy that I was able to take a step back from my channel and be present and figure out like what that looks like for me. And another reason why I kind of disappeared from my channel is because I wasn't really feeling it. It wasn't like, oh, I'm getting hate comments. I'm not going viral. My views suck. Baby, it was none of that. I'm always telling my friends, oh, the spirit is just not over me. When y'all don't see me on YouTube it's because I'm not in the spirit like I gotta get in the spirit to do my job I can't even bitch I can't even explain it I was not in the spirit to be a content creator to be a Instagram baddie to be a Twitter honey I was just fucking loving being a normal person I wasn't obsessed with getting the content and feeling like every single moment and second of my life needs to be fucking documented or I'm gonna die poor like the way that I was thinking was literally fucking insane okay like I literally was in this mindset that like I need to beat myself to a pulp to be successful and I was draining myself I was wearing myself out I was exhausting myself I was signing up for all these sponsorships and all these brand deals and girl I got burnt out I got stressed out I I was holding myself to this like standard that I'm not even at yet because I have Kanye West syndrome and I feel like everything needs to be perfect and I just I got burnt out I didn't feel like being a girl boss like I've been listening to a lot of um, podcasts as well and TED talks and affirmations about self-worth I realized in the past I had an issue with feeling worthy with feeling like I deserved things and I didn't really recognize that because I I'm extremely fucking confident so I didn't realize that I had an issue with self-worth that honestly has been really healing for me as well I've been like stomping that negative nasty generational curse ass voice out of my mind I feel like the demons that I was fighting in my head are like generational I feel like there's like a generational hating ass demon that wants to live rent free in my mind and I'm not gonna let it I literally don't know what is going on with me I guess I'm like getting older and wiser and more mature or maybe I'm just like becoming my best friend I really don't know honestly it feels so good to come back on my channel because you know how I was telling you like I feel like I need to be in this spirit to like create content and like talk to you guys please believe I am in the spirit if you cannot tell like I'm in the zone I want you guys with me because I'm so happy dude and I want you guys to be a part of that I want you guys to see what God is doing 
in my life and within me. I'm in such a loving, happy place that I want to make my dreams come true so I could take care of the people that have taken care of me emotionally, you know, financially. Like, I have experienced a different kind of love in, like, my relationships lately that I didn't even know I could experience, if that makes sense. And I'm not trying to make myself sound like a sob story or anything like that, but, like, I have been experiencing love so pure. I'm telling you, I have to control my thoughts. I have to watch my thoughts because I have to tell myself, you deserve this shit. Don't start thinking nothing crazy. You deserve this. Nobody is going to jump out and say, ha, I got gotcha. you. None of that. You deserve this. Enjoy this. And if things end up not working out, it's a lesson. Man, I'm telling you, like, I disappeared from my channel to get my mind right, I guess. And that's why I said at the beginning of the video, I feel like it's important for us to have these conversations. It's important for me to get on camera and say this because at the end of the day, I'm a human. I'm not a machine. It's okay to have a dream. It's okay to know that you want to be somewhere in life and still acknowledge that you're a human being and you need to just enjoy exist i literally have no complaints it seems like this life just keeps getting better so stay tuned bitch because i got some stories for you and believe me they are on the way girl that's pretty much all i had to say i feel like we've been rocking with each other for a while and to be honest y'all kind of deserve an explanation like it's not like you guys are complete strangers if you're new here hi but it's not like you guys are complete strangers i feel like to a certain extent you do deserve to know like what's going on you guys are invested and i appreciate that i thank you guys so much for the support and that's why i try to talk to y'all on some real shit all the time because like if i I can change my life, you can too. You may not necessarily have the same goals as I do, but I've been through a lot of shit and I'm finally legit starting to find happiness and I know you guys can too. Just be nice to yourself, chill out. So make sure that you guys go out in the world and do that for yourself, okay? With that being said, I love you guys so much. I cannot wait for you guys to see what I have in store for you because a bitch has literally been living her best life. I love what I do. Thank you for supporting what I do and I will see you in the next video. Till next time.